Hello everyone, here's another time-lapse sketching tutorial and this time it's a digital drawing tutorial. So this is a scene that I have drawn on location inside an Indian restaurant while having lunch with my wife. The restaurant has a kitchen on the left, the bar counter in front, some tall tables on the right side and the entrance on the right. So this is a white scene, a panorama scene that took me 1 hour and 10 minutes to sketch and color. This tutorial is actually the condensed version of the full-length tutorial that I have made for my patrons. I need to make this tutorial on YouTube much shorter because I don't think anyone would want to sit through a tutorial that is 30 minutes to an hour long. But if you want to learn how I draw this scene with step-by-step -step instructions, consider supporting me on Patreon. The app that I'm using is called Concepts. It's available on iPad, Android, and Windows OS. So I started this sketch by drawing the longest line first, which is something I always do when I'm sketching. Always draw the longest line first so that you can use that line or that subject to draw all the other elements in the scene. So in this case, um, I have the bar counter at the back behind my wife. So now I've created some foreground and background element to create this sense of depth. Now the brush that I'm using is the soft pencil brush in Concepts. And I like the texture of this brush. It really looks like pencil. I like the textured look. So you may notice the tables with diagonal lines. Uh, those diagonal lines are actually pointing to a vanishing point to the right side. Those tables are parallel to each other, so they will share the same vanishing point. Any subjects that are parallel will share the same vanishing point. So for example, if you have books on the shelf, all the books are stacked neatly together, they will all have the same vanishing point. But if the books are messy, um, each book will have its own vanishing point. So now I have established some foreground and background element. I have some bottles and uh, glasses on the table in front, my wife, the tables behind my wife, the bar counter at the back. When it comes to drawing such a complicated scene, um, draw the longest line first, draw the biggest subject first, then fill in the details. And it would really help if you can zoom out to take a look at the overall sketch and not just focus on drawing at this tiny area, but sometimes just zoom out to take a look at the overall sketch to get a sense of proportion and also to check whether um, whether you have drawn uh, things correctly. Because sometimes when you're too focused on drawing at this tiny area, um, you may it may affect proportion it may affect perspective drawing a scene like this takes a lot of concentration mostly because there are so many details to draw you don't really need to know perspective to draw a scene like this you can see the lines on the right side here they are sort of curving into a vanishing point the perspective here is actually not that accurate. Uh, but if you know perspective, it can help you uh, draw scenes like this more easily. If you don't know perspective, you can still draw a scene like this, no problem. You just draw whatever you see in front of you and work your, work your way to the left and to the right and slowly expand the scene and the perspective would um, this curvy linear perspective would actually sort of present itself while you are drawing. You don't have to think too much about perspective. So we have some uh, customers uh, seated at the high table and chairs there on the right side. The more people you add in your scene, the more lively it will be. So in this case, I've only added a few customers. 
if you draw like a lot of people um, it may make the sketch look noisy as in uh, lively like this place um, has a lot of people talking but now when you look at this sketch with those uh, few customers uh, it feels like this place is kind of quiet uh, but this place is actually playing some uh, music in the background I can't remember <laughs> what type of music though and it's lunchtime I remember um, those people seated at the right side because they ordered a lot of wine and beer for lunch for some reason all right the tricky part to using this app is actually the coloring system this app does not have a fill bucket tool so in order to color I have to redraw uh, the shapes um, for the wall I have to paint the background first followed by the elements in the foreground and then add more foreground elements and add more foreground elements if I forget to color something uh, sometimes I have to color the background again and color the things that are in the foreground again it's quite tedious unfortunately that's the way it is when it comes to coloring with uh, this app because there is no fill bucket too so um, as you can see when I'm coloring I'm actually just drawing the shapes drawing the big shapes followed by the smaller shapes on top of the bigger shapes and the sequence of coloring is actually very important if you do not want to uh, redo the challenging part about this sketch is actually the coloring process, uh, not so much the drawing process. Um, the scene is detailed, yes, it's a challenge to draw something so complicated, um, but all you really need is concentration. Just uh, slow down, observe, and draw. Sometimes when you draw too fast and you make mistakes, um, you have to undo, and that may actually waste more of your time. So sometimes it would be good to actually slow down observe and draw slowly to make sure you draw things right so that you don't have to correct mistakes so that you don't have to waste time to correct mistakes later on i like to use the concepts app for drawing huge scenes like this because this app actually features an infinite canvas so i can just continue to draw and i won't run out of space compared to using uh, apps where you have a fixed canvas so that's the fun thing about using this uh, app and this is a vector app so I can zoom in all the way and the uh, image will still retain its sharpness and the main reason why I went with digital for this sketch instead of pen ink and watercolor is because um, I didn't want my wife to wait that long Sketching with pen, ink, and watercolor takes more time and it takes time to set up and also time to clean the palette afterwards. Uh, drawing digitally is just more convenient but of course the overall experience is going to be different. Uh, drawing with actual media, traditional media is uh, to me more satisfying. I mean I enjoy the tactile drawing experience but I also enjoy drawing digitally. Alright, if you guys want to learn more about sketching, you can check out the many free tutorials that I have on my YouTube playlist. The link is in the video description below. And if you want to support my YouTube channel and my work, you can consider supporting me on Patreon. You guys watching my YouTube videos and my patrons are the main reasons why I don't have sponsored ads on my videos. Thanks for watching this. See you guys again. Bye. If you guys hear any weird noises in this tutorial, it's actually from my daughter who is sleeping on my lap. That's her favorite sleeping position on my lap.